we've got Kate Bilo here. I'm, I'm going with <laughs> you. Well, we're, we're working on the winter forecast. We're putting some I factors know. together, but it does look like, based on what we've looked at so far, that it could be a milder than mm. average. But that doesn't mean not snowy. Sometimes right. you get mild air. When cold air intrusions come in, you get bigger storms. So mm. okay. stay tuned for some, some more on that oh, local you know we forecast. Will. But yeah, I think we a lot of people would, would like a mild winter. It's a little nippy out there today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it feels like. Winter has descended on the area. My daughter and I went to the playground. We were both wearing like big chunky sweaters. And I was I like, this is not enough. I we know. need coats. We need hats. We need gloves. We've got to start <laughs> shopping for those uh, winter accessories uh, if it's going to feel anything like this again. And tomorrow morning, we're going to see temperatures in the 30s, near freezing in some spots, as we talked about at the top of the broadcast. Some frost and freeze alerts out there tonight. It's too soon for this. Well, not really. Late October is usually when we see our first frost, so we're getting close. Let's take a look outside in the Poconos where the sun is starting to drop. Some long shadows out there. Jack Frost, Big Boulder, but you can see the blue sky still there and all the leaves beginning to change. The Poconos just entering the peak foliage time, so if you want to do some leaf peeping this weekend, that's where you want to head. The farther north and west you go, the better. We're starting to see some decent fall color close to the city as well. Storm Scan 3 shows the reason for all those blue skies. No clouds out there on the Saturday light imagery, no rain today. It's just a clear, dry, chilly Thursday for us. And as we widen out, you can see there's really not much coming either. There's a, a disturbance over portions of eastern Canada bringing some snow there. The rest of us are sitting pretty dry conditions right into the start of the weekend. But we are tracking the threat for some showers on Saturday. As I'll show you, I don't think you should cancel your outdoor plans, though. If you have, if you have a pumpkin patch or hayride plans Saturday, we'll track those showers in just a moment. Let's start with the near term tonight as temperatures again drop down to right around the freezing mark in our far northwest suburbs. We do have freeze warnings in effect from Upper Bucks, Montgomery counties right up through the Poconos. That's a freeze warning. Those are the areas that have the best chance of seeing 32 on the thermometer. Mid 30s from lower Montgomery and Bucks County, Chester County into South Jersey and Delaware. That is a frost advisory around the city. The extreme shore points not included. It's not going to get quite that cold down the shore. So while you're sleeping tonight, you don't want the windows open. In fact, you may need to buckle if you haven't already and switch on that heat tonight because it is going to get cold very quick. You may want the extra blankets and the flannel jammies as well. You can never do too much to stay warm. For your Friday, not as chilly, a cold start, but then plenty of sun in the afternoon with a high around 60. So tomorrow, lots of sun. Clouds are going to start to drift in in the afternoon and evening. Saturday is mostly cloudy. I think we will see some breaks of sun, but that next front comes through Saturday with the chance for just a few scattered showers. So if you have outdoor plans, keep an eye to the sky, but again, doesn't look like a washout. Game day forecast for the Eagles, 48 degrees at kickoff. It is going to be chilly again. That front on Saturday is just going to reinforce the cold. So we go from the 60s over the next two days right back down. Sunday may even be colder than today. Monday, a lot like today, still below average. And next week, it looks dry, some sun mm -hmm. each day, but we just can't seem to get temperatures back to where they should be mm. right. in October. All right. At All right. least I'm it's ready. sunny. It's sunny. Uh, I like it. And the hoodie's on yeah. standby. Let's go. Thank you, Kate.